it's a controversial, and people can't agree. Some people take the straight distilled water and claim they don't get any mineral deficiencies, and that's it. They just drink it straight. Okay? My impression is that it's an aggressive water that will pull the minerals out of the system. What's the basis of that impression? I've seen people who have done distilled water fasts, which I don't think is all a good idea, and they may do it for 28 days, and I'm seeing them two years later and they have severe mineral deficiencies. And I don't think that comes out of the blue, you know? So I began to feel well, that's not a good idea, that distilled water indeed pulls the minerals out. Now, if you're just doing your everyday thing, it may not show up, you see. But you're going to do a water fast, it's going to show up because you're stressing the system that way. So I feel very confident saying, based on water fasting, which is a very clear experiment, not, not that people meant it to be an experiment, we got some really severe mineral deficiencies that take a few years to repair. So that's where I got concerned and began saying, well, no, I don't think that's a good idea. Let's, let's get us up to 50 parts per million, which is a really good, simple thing. So that's kind of my feeling about it. People will still debate it. No, no, it doesn't pull minerals out. And then it may be that, you know, you don't see it because you're eating other foods that are bringing minerals in. But if you just do a water fast where there's no other things bringing it in, you, I clearly saw it. I've seen it in several people, and they're, they're damaged. It takes a while to heal them. So that, that kind of the best I can do to answer that. If I can get access to clean spring water, is that better than a reverse, than a distilled water? The clean spring water if you get it within 10 feet of the spring, is highly energized. And so that makes it better. Now what's the problem today? How do you know it's clean? So you gotta actually test the water and see if it's clean, because generally all our, uh, much water today is contaminated. Yeah, you gotta check the spring. You take the water and you send it to a laboratory and you have it analyzed. That's how you do it. But the other problem with that is things change. One month from now, somebody's dumping something into some water supply or there's a breakthrough and the pesticides and herbicides are finally leaking in to the base of your spring water. You don't know for sure. So you do, in a reasonable way, unless you're way out in the, you know, out in nature, you do need to check your spring water. But just because it's spring water doesn't mean it's clean. This is what we're facing. There's fluoride in our environment everywhere. Yeah, and pesticides, herbicides, and all kinds of things. And they're getting into the base water supply. That's part of the problem. So that's a little bit of a downside to the spring water at this point in time. So test it, then you can find out.